One of the things that separates a professional portrait from a snapshot is selective focus, or shallow depth of field. But the problem is, if you're using a mobile device like the iPhone, while it's very convenient, it's almost impossible to get that look. And if you're using a high-end point-and-shoot, unless it has a very high-end, precise, fast lens, it's very difficult to get that look. And even with a DSLR with a fast lens, you need to have it set just right to get that shallow depth of field. So I want to show you a quick and easy way to take any image from any device and give it a nice blurred background in Photoshop. So here's an image I really like. There's a lot of color, and my eyes are naturally led to the center, but it is a busy backdrop. So it's a great example of an image that wants a shallow depth of field. Now, without using any masks or selections, I'm going to come up here to my filter menu, come down to Blur, and go over to Iris Blur. And we're just going to put the center of this pin wherever we want the image to be in focus. And I'm going to pull this all the way up, just so I can see where the effect begins and ends. These inner pins are where the effect starts, and the outer oval is where the effect is at full strength, and the area in between is kind of like feathering. I can move them all together, but I can also use my Option or Alt key to move them independently. And so I'm just going to get these where I want them. And the next step is to take the strength of the blur and pull that back down. So I was really just using that as a guide when I had it turned up really high. And that looks great to me, really natural, no selections or masks. I can even do something that's photographically impossible, like click on another area of the image and bring that into focus. So if I want to have his hand in focus, that's really easy to do. Now if I were to hit the M key, I'd see that I'm creating masks as I go here. Now this mask could be used for all sorts of different things within Photoshop, and if I want to use the mask, I'm just going to come up here to this little checkbox and save masks to channel. That'll allow me to use it throughout Photoshop. So there you have a quick idea of just how powerful a shallow depth of field can be and just how easy it is. We didn't use any selections, masks, or layers. We just used Iris Blur.